Mark, I've got some exciting news for you. Hey there, dear. What's the news? I'm pregnant. Really? Absolutely. I saw the doctor this morning, and the test came back positive. I must be around four or five weeks along already. That's fantastic news. But we've only been married for half a month. How is this possible? Don't you remember? We were together before we got married. Right, I guess that makes sense. Why don't you seem more thrilled to hear that I'm pregnant? No, I'm happy. I'm just in a bit of shock that we're finally going to have a baby. I knew you'd be happy. We should celebrate. How about a seafood hot pot tonight? Maybe another day. I've got a lot of work at the company today and I'm pretty tired. I'm worried I might be late coming home. Huh? Okay, got it. So, what about tomorrow? Maybe the weekend would be better. The weekend? It's only Monday. I see. You're not too thrilled about the pregnancy. Maybe I shouldn't have told you. If you're not into it, we still have time to reconsider. It's not like that, Sophia. Why are you talking about giving up on our child so easily? I'm just swamped with work this week. Let me make up to you over the weekend. So, this weekend, I'd like to go to the spa. Do some shopping and then have a hot pot. That sounds like quite a lot. I thought you wanted to make up to me. Alright, I understand. You're the best, honey. Love you, dear. Get ready for lunch. I need to get back to work. And please, remember to take care of your health. Sure thing. Bye, honey. Hey, Sophia. Where are you? I'm outside. Is something wrong? Just now, my grandparents called me and told me to pick up Grace, and I just brought her home. Great! Take care of her. I'll be home late. For the past week, you've been letting your grandmother look after Grace. Do you know how much a newborn baby needs his mother to be by his side? I know. You talk too much. Sophia, she is your daughter. She's your daughter too. Just look after the baby today. I'll take care of the baby when I get home. Please leave early. She needs to be fed. Then feed her. Go make some milk. What? Sophia, drinking mixed milk is not as nutritious as breast milk. Breast milk is the best milk for babies. What? Breastfeed the baby? No way. What do you mean no way? If she drinks my breast milk, my breasts will sag. And I don't like that. Surely not. What nonsense is that? You've breastfed your baby before. It's okay. I say no. The baby sucked, then bit it. It was so painful. I don't want to breastfeed it anymore. How can you say that? Are you going to let her starve to death? There's mixed milk. She just doesn't drink breast milk. You make it sound like she's running out of things to eat. Make her some milk to drink or he'll be hungry. Now I'm going to have dinner. Take care of her for a while. I'll come home later. <sighs> Alright. We will talk about this later. Remember to come home soon. I have some work to do. Okay. I'll try. Sophia, why haven't you come home yet? I'll be back in a moment. You agreed to go home early. I still have to work. I said I'll try to go home soon. So why aren't you home yet? We're still having a drink and then going home. What What about my work? Let's put Grace to bed and then you can work. I can't believe you said that. Grace refused to drink mixed milk, so she only drank a little milk. You go home and feed her. I said no. Just leave her alone. When she's hungry, she'll have to drink. I can't believe you said that. Where did you go to leave Grace with her grandmother all afternoon? I went out with friends in the afternoon. Now we are about to go dinner. We'll come back later. Sophia, you should take care of her more. You're her mother. She needs you all the time. Why are you so confused? Staying with her all day will create a habit of dependence. I don't want her to have that bad habit. Besides, since she clings to her mother all the time, there's nothing else I can do. What? How can you say something so irresponsible? You are the mother, and if she clings to you, it's very normal. 
Yet you worry about that? How can you say that to me? Am I not responsible? Do you understand what I endured to say that? Why do you destroy all my efforts like that? Wait, Sophia, I didn't mean that. I know what you've endured. I have a very heavy pregnancy of 9 months and 10 days. Can you carry it for me? Of course not. I have to carry that heavy pregnancy alone. And when I gave birth, I was alone on the birthing table and endured the pain. Meanwhile, you just stand outside the door and wait. Don't say that, Sophia. Of course, I know you had a difficult time with such a pregnancy. You know nothing. I had to do everything to give birth to a healthy and safe baby. But you said I didn't do anything. I didn't say that. You got it wrong. I just want to say that no matter what, it's our child. And we have the responsibility to take care of her. You can't just leave her at grandma's house. She's only a few months old. She's too young to live away from her mother. I can't be with her all the time. I want to do a lot of things. Oh my god, Sophia. You can have your own time. But you can't leave Grace alone all day. Looking after her is your responsibility. Stop talking about responsibility. Don't push all the responsibility on me. You force me to do everything? You are my husband and Grace's father. You have to take care of her too. Of course, I also have responsibility for our child. She's still so young that she needs the love of both parents. I have to work all day and have very little time to take care of her, so I need you to take care of her instead of me. I'm staying at home taking care of the kids all the time, so I feel very suffocated. I want to go out and have fun, but you're going to forbid me? You can go out if you want, but first, we have to take care of our child. She can't be alone. Secondly, you can't just leave her at her grandmother's house without caring. After that, it's okay if you go out for one to two days, but it's not okay if you go out for a whole week like that. So what? I still take care of her and arrange things for her before going out to play. She is very safe with her grandmother, so please rest assured. That's not being responsible for you. You don't take care of Grace and then leave her for someone else to take care of. I gave my child to my mother to take care of, not an outsider. You just worry too much. What? I'm not worried too much. Please pay more attention and care for her. What if something happens? How can I cope when I'm not by her side? Alright, alright. I got it, okay? You talk too much. It's not okay, Sophia. You have to make sure that you'll care about her more. Fine. I'll care about my child more. Are you happy now? You're not serious at all. I'm serious. Well, then I'll be back soon. Goodbye. What? I'm not done talking yet. Sophia, we will talk about this later. Hi, dear. Do you have a minute? I'm here. What's wrong? Well, the thing is, I was looking after her grace and realized that the money for diapers and milk in the drawer had run out. Please transfer me more money. She's almost out of diapers to change. What? I remember I put more money in yesterday. Why does it run out so quickly? I don't know. Maybe she poops too much, you know? I have to change her diaper all day long. And the baby needs to drink milk too. Since you stopped breastfeeding her, she only has to drink mixed milk. Breast milk is the most nutritious food for babies. Please let her breastfeed. No way! I told you no! It will make my breast sag. I just had my chest done again. It's very beautiful now. What? Are you going to have surgery? You just gave birth and haven't had enough rest yet. Why go through another surgery? It's been more than four months. Don't be worried. After giving birth, I was very ugly. My breasts are soggy, my tummy is wrinkled, and I'm gaining a lot of weight. I tried really hard to lose weight. As for the other parts, I have to resort to cosmetic surgery. Is that why you asked me to go camping with my friends for two days the other day? That's right. It takes at least 24 hours to check for anisicola after surgery. I can't believe you kept this from me. 
If I told you, you won't agree. So I have to be quiet and do it. Of course I don't agree. Such a dangerous thing. Wait a minute. Where did you have the money to do the surgery? I borrowed it. What? If you don't give me money, I'll have to borrow it from someone else. How much is it? The surgery was $6,550 and I borrowed $7,000 to pay it off. What the hell? Are you nuts, Sophia? $7,000 for surgery. What? I just want to look pretty. Am I not allowed to beautify myself? But that amount of money is too big. How are we gonna pay for that? What? We? You're my husband. You pay for it. What? But you're the borrower. So you should find a way to pay it back, right? Why do I have to do that? I become beautiful for you. Besides, I borrowed another $10,000 for shopping. What? $10,000? You gotta be kidding me. I don't have that much money. Ask for the money to buy milk and diapers for the children. Where do you think the money for daily living comes from to pay such a large amount of money? Why do you act without thinking? Why do you keep scolding me? Whatever you do, if you scold me, the money won't come back. I can't stand you, Sophia. Why did you do that? Why do you have to have breast surgery? It's really not necessary. Besides, our family is not rich. Can't you see? Why are you so foolish? Well, I didn't think carefully. I only do beauty for you. I also want to look good. If you're going to keep making me this ugly, I won't have any face left to go out. Sophia, you're still very beautiful. To me, you are beautiful in any situation. You always shine. Because you are my husband. That's why you said that. Everyone looking at it doesn't see it that way. That's not true. Don't let the opinions of people from the outside get to you. You must be confident in yourself. I can't. I found my confidence back through surgery, but you trust my efforts. Come on, Sophia. I don't mean to destroy your efforts. However, you should also see that that amount of money is too big for our family. You should think more carefully. Okay, I know. Next time, I will think more carefully. Well, I hope so. I am glad that you understand. What are we going to do now? About the person you borrowed money from? Are they asking for that money urgently? Because if they want to be paid all at once, I can't do it. I don't have the money right now. It's okay. They're not that demanding. It's okay to pay it later. You talk as if that sum of money is easy to make. I feel secure because I have you, my dear husband. <laughs> you should be much more careful. I know. So will you pay my debt for me? <sighs> Let me earn more money first. Gradually, we can pay it off, but not now. My husband is the best. Love you, babe. I love you too, dear. Hey, Sophia. Why didn't you prepare dinner for me? Oh, I forgot. Cook yourself. What? Where are you now? What, what do you want? I'm busy right now. Busy? Busy hanging out with friends? Yeah, so what? What? Why didn't you tell me you were going out? I was about to tell you, but you asked me first. So it's not like I didn't want to tell you. You didn't say anything. You just had an intention? I forgot, okay? But why do I have to inform you? Am I your wife or your child? Why do I have to report every action? Of course, you're my wife. You don't have to report every move to me, but I'm your husband. I always report to you wherever I go, but you have never done that to me. That's natural. You should have told me first. What if you go out with a girl and drink a lot? What? So what if you also have an affair? What the hell? How can you say that to me? You doubt me? You don't trust your wife? I'm not saying that. Don't you see the problem here? We are not communicating with each other. The fact that a couple informs each other before they are busy or going anywhere 
only shows respect for each other. You talk too much. Next time, I'll tell you first, okay? You still don't understand the real problem here. Forget it, I want to ask you something else. What? Where's the money I put in the drawer to buy things for Grace? Well, I took that money away. What, you took all that money? What for? Buying things and hanging with my friend? If you need to go out, just tell me. It's okay. And don't use money to buy things for your child to go out. Remember to buy milk and diapers for your baby first. Grace is about to run out of milk. No, I used all the money to have fun. I don't have any money left to buy milk. What? Why do you do that? I need money to buy things, that's all. The money you gave me wasn't enough so I had to get more money. Grace is still young, she only needs milk and diapers. She doesn't need that much money, so it's okay if I take the money. What? So what about medical examination? Vaccinations, medicine, clothes, and many other things for our child. Why are you a mother and don't think about your child? Whatever. Transfer more money to me. I need another $1,000 to buy a new bag. What are you talking about? Are you crazy? What bag costs more than $1,000? Where can I get $1,000 for you? Talk less and give it to me. I don't have money. Just give me as much as you have. Hurry up and don't make me lose face in front of you guys. Why are you being so unreasonable? I only have a few hundred dollars left. I just paid for your surgery. Fine. I'll use that little money for now. Transfer it to me. You should know you're being unreasonable. Why is it only three hundred dollars? Where is the remaining money? What amount? That's all of it. No, you clearly have more. Are you planning on taking the last money for our dinner? That includes money to buy milk and diapers for Grace. I told you there's no need to spend too much money on her. What? You should spend money on your wife to beautify herself. Only by looking at me, the outsiders would know whether you are a good husband or not. Nonsense. Where did you get at that idea? They look at our children and judge that child's parents. What will they think when we neglect our children like that? Why do you focus on that baby all day? I'm your wife. You need to pay more attention to me. The baby needs this. The baby needs that. You have to feed her. You have to take care of her. If you want to do all of that, take care of her yourself. What is that really what you think? You think about the child you gave birth to like that? Why aren't you responsible? You were so happy when you told me we had a baby. I don't want to bear those tiring responsibilities anymore. That's the reason I became ugly. I want to change my appearance to save my confidence, but you also complained and scolded me. How can you blame a child? It's not even one year old yet. Then you go and raise it. I don't raise it anymore. What do you mean by that? The meaning is on the face of that word. I won't have anything to do with that child anymore. I'm bored. What, are you gonna throw away our child? We need to talk face to face, Sophia. You can't say such an irresponsible thing. Let's go home and we'll talk this out clearly. No, why do I have to go back? If you don't go home, where are you going? Where are you now? That's not a fair business. Are you crazy? What time are you planning to go? Go home. We need to talk. None of your business. You have no right to forbid me. You're too much, Sophia. If you want to go, then leave. You don't have to come back to this house anymore. You dare chase me away? I probably want to stay in that ruined house with that nagging kid and that crying kid. Don't hold on to me. I won't come back. I definitely won't. I promise. Hey, handsome man. How did you get my number? I saw you when I bought coffee on the first floor of building A. I thought you were very stylish and handsome. I know that you are a regular customer who often buys at the shop, so I asked for a number. 
They just give out customer information like that? It's so unprofessional. I'll have to complain about them. Come on. It's because I wanted the phone number of a handsome guy like you. That's why I asked them to give it to me. Don't blame them. It's not their fault. Well, that's their responsibility. They must keep customer information confidential. Don't be so rigid by the rules, handsome guy. I like elegant people like you. So do you want me to have dinner with you today? Do you have a habit of asking strange men to dinner with you? No, only a handsome and elegant man like you. But I still don't know your name. May I know your name? I'm Anna. Nice to meet you. Anna? What a beautiful name. Nice to meet you, Anna. I'm Mark. I know. Then dinner? Tonight? 7 p.m. at Harmony's Sushi Haven? I hope you like sushi. Oh my god, I'm craving sushi. Great. See you tonight. See you later. Where are you? I went to the restaurant. Oh, sorry. I have some work to do at the company. Maybe I'll be a little late. Oh, it's okay. I understand you're busy. It's just that I'm dressed very nicely and standing in front of the restaurant is a bit weird. You don't want to keep a beautiful girl waiting outside the door for a long time, right? Oh, my apologies. Just grab the table and go ahead. It's definitely on me, so enjoy. Alright, if you insist. Hey, have you finished your work? Well, I finished a long time ago. Where are you then? Are you ready to go to the restaurant? I'm at home. Are you kidding me? I'm waiting for you. Come quickly. How much have you eaten? I waited for you so long that I ate some sushi and drank a few glasses of wine. Some sushi? You ate an entire table of sushi and drank an entire bottle of wine. Oh my... I feel a bit dizzy. Can you come pick me up? Don't lie, my dear. You're still sober. What do you mean? I'm not. I think I'm drunk. You wouldn't leave a drunk girl alone, right? Really? Should I bring you home? Oh, actually, I had a bit of disagreement with my family, so I didn't really want to go home. Don't want to go home? So where do you want to go? I have nowhere to go. Can you take me to your place? I just need a place to sleep for the night. It's not okay to bring you to my house. We just met. You leave a weak girl alone? I'm only staying for one night. I'll be a good girl. I can't even warm her bed. So this is how you lure men to their homes and steal money, right, Sophia? What? I don't know what you are talking about. Right, Sophia. How many men have you deceived with this trick? Did you begin doing this after your breast surgery? What? Who are you? Have you forgotten your ex-husband? Our love as husband and wife fades so quickly. No way! You look very different. Of course. I have changed and become better. And you're still so full of ugly. What did you say? Me? Ugly? Unbelievable! Watch your mouth, Mark. There are a lot of men pursuing behind me. <laughs> You're so funny, Sophia. Even when you're being exposed, you're still confident about your appearance. So what? I have a body that makes every man and woman crave. Right. That beautiful exterior is just a cover to hide an ugly, distorted interior. Not to mention, it's all plastic. <laughs> what? At least I'm so beautiful, not like you. Countryside, rough, a single father. Thanks to your leaving, I have one less worry and I have become better. Is that so? Don't tell me you miss me so much that you should change to approach me, hmm? You, like all other men, desire beautiful women. Everyone is passionate about beauty, but when it comes to beauty like yours, I'll give it to someone else. I only saw a moving mannequin, and it was full of trash inside. You make me nauseated. What did you say? Without you... There are tons of men willing to spend a lot of money just to see me. Haven't you noticed, Sophia? Those men can spend money to make you do anything. You're nothing more than a rich person's toy. So what? I still live very comfortably. 
spend money without thinking about the price and buy all the things I want. You couldn't give me any of it. That's right. I can't satisfy your need for wasting money. What a poor thing. Now you and I are not on the same level. How's Grace? Is it fun being a single dad? Grace and I are still doing well. Maybe it's better without you. I can focus on taking care of her. So I'm glad that you left. You are so thoughtful and responsible. Even though she's not your biological child. You have been deceived. <laughs> I knew you were lying. I knew from the moment you told me that you were pregnant. Stop pretending. You have been completely deceived by me. How naive. So, do you know that I'm actually infertile? What? I'm infertile. So how can I have children? I knew everything from the beginning. I also know that pregnancy belonged to your ex. You had an affair with your ex while we were about to get married. Am I right, Sophia? I don't understand what you're talking about. You had an affair and got pregnant with your ex. Then that bastard didn't accept the pregnancy, so you hastily pushed up the wedding date to frame it for me. You pretended that the pregnancy was mine while not knowing that I was infertile. So why didn't you expose me then? At that time, because I loved you, I chose to accept that child until I saw clearly what kind of person you are. You don't care about your child at all. Only focus on beauty and shopping. When I couldn't satisfy you, you left. I did the right thing. You see, if you can't meet my needs, I have to find someone who can do that for me. You know, Sophia, you can't always be lucky. You will receive retribution. Haha! <laughs> What retribution? Men must kneel before my beauty and be ready to meet all my needs. You seem very confident in yourself. Of course. Men are idiots who only desire beauty. It is very easy to satisfy their needs and control them as desired. They are at most just my ATM. When I exhaust all of this ATM, I will move to another ATM. <laughs> Aren't you afraid they'll find out if you say that? What if we find out? What can they do to me? A bunch of idiots just let me fool around. <laughs> of course. It's to sue you for fraudulent appropriation of property. That's not to mention the crime of stealing. When did I do that? You have no proof. You can't do anything to me, hmm? You're wrong again. I've been following you for three months to collect evidence. Even though my evidence could have gotten you arrested, I didn't report it to the police. Do you know what I did? What have you done? I sent all the evidence I collected to all the men you scammed and extorted money from. And they sent me back information about how you made them pay or defrauded them. So I have more evidence and witnesses to get you arrested. Quite a good move, right? You bastard! How dare you do that? Are you still bitter because I abandoned you with a child who is not your biological child? <laughs> what nonsense are you talking about? Last words? You're pathetic to think that you can overthrow me. I have a lot of people with money and power who can make the bad things I did disappear without a trace. Just one word from me can make you disappear from this world. Oh, I'm so scared. Please forgive me. Yeah, back for it. <laughs> Do you think I'm really scared? How naive. You are nothing more than an idiot who is despised by everyone. While you were bragging about yourself, the news was full of your information. What news? What do you mean? Just a few stories about a woman who has plastic surgery from top to bottom and specializes in cheating men of love and money. What? Who? Don't play dumb. Well. Everything you just told me has been photographed and posted. Just for further proof. <laughs> you bastard! How dare you do that to me? Do you believe I made both you and the child disappear? Who are you trying to threaten? Do you think the people who support you don't know any of this? Don't worry. To make sure they know of your true, ugly self, I've sent them all the evidence and witness statements. 
Do you know what have you done? You've ruined my life. I will make you pay. I'll wait to see what you can do to me. But before that, I think you should pay for your dinner. What? One thousand dollars? Why so much money? Because this is one of the famous Japanese restaurants. Not to mention, you also eat a lot, so it's reasonable to bill like that. No way. You pay. You pay for what you eat. Are you going to make me clean up the mess for you again? First, it's your ex's baby, then the loan for breast augmentation, and now your dinner? Yeah, right. When pigs fly. I can't pay that amount. You're the one who put me in this situation. You have to solve it. You've tricked a lot of people into going bankrupt because of this scam. Now, you will experience it. You jerk! This is all your fault. Don't blame me. Blame yourself for being so stupid. How does it feel? Fooled by your own tricks. <laughs> Bastard! I won't leave you alone. Instead of cursing me, you should think of a way to get away with it. Now you don't have money to pay for food, facing arrest for fraud, and becoming an online celebrity. Although this fame has a bad reputation. <laughs> no. You have to help me, Mark. We used to be husband and wife. If you help me, I promise to come back to you and take care of Grace with you. I bet she misses me a lot too. Shut up. You have no right to take care of her or see her anymore. You threw it away, so now you and Grace no longer have any relationship. I will never forgive you. Goodbye, Sophia. What? Are you abandoning me? Don't leave me! Please help me, Mark! After that, Sophia was wanted and has now been arrested. I don't care much about her. I just know that she was sent to prison and has a huge debt. After hearing about it, her parents also decided to cut ties with that scheming girl. I told Sophia's parents everything about Grace, who is not my biological child, but I still hope that I can take care of her. They were very touched and agreed. They also helped me look after Grace when I have to go to work. Although Grace lacks a mother's love, I will try to make up for that love by loving her twice as much. I hope she will grow up strong, beautiful, and not affected or entangled by anything. <laughs>